NVIDIA is racing towards a $5 trillion valuation, but can it actually get there? After all, this year alone, NVIDIA's shares skyrocketed by 180%, and over the past decade, they've jumped an astonishing 3,100%. NVIDIA isn't just a tech company, it's at the heart of the AI revolution. From powering generative AI breakthroughs to dominating the market for high-performance computing, NVIDIA is making big moves. But is it enough to reach that massive $5 trillion milestone by 2025? How did a gaming graphics chip company turn into a leader in AI? And what does it have that others don't? Today, we're breaking down NVIDIA's incredible journey, their edge in the AI market, and the risks and rewards that come with aiming for such a huge valuation. Could NVIDIA be on its way to becoming one of the most valuable companies in the world? Let's dive in and find out. NVIDIA didn't start off as an AI giant. Back in 1993, they were just a small company making graphic chips to improve video game visuals, helping games look sharper and run smoother. Their chips, known as GPUs, were initially all about making game graphics realistic and fun. This approach took off, especially with the introduction of the GeForce 256 in 1999 which was the first real GPU for the mass market. This success landed NVIDIA a big deal with Microsoft in 2000 for the first Xbox console, a deal worth $500 million, which helped NVIDIA grow fast. But NVIDIA's journey wasn't only about gaming. Around 2006, they did something no one expected. They let developers access their GPUs for more than gaming, inviting them to experiment with these chips for other uses. This shift opened the door to much bigger things, like scientific research and, eventually, artificial intelligence. NVIDIA's chips became key to powering complex applications, not just in gaming, but in any field needing huge amounts of computing power. NVIDIA's big pivot to AI wasn't just luck, it was a calculated move that started in 2006 with the introduction of CUDA, a software toolkit they created. CUDA was a game-changer, NVIDIA to, uh, to take what was a research project to make it turn it into a real commercial solution. Uh, that's when we started on CUDA and for over two years we were doing internal software development and finally he shipped uh, CUDA 1.0 back in 2006. It let developers use NVIDIA's GPUs for much more than gaming graphics. With CUDA, NVIDIA's chips could perform parallel computing, which basically means handling many tasks at once, instead of one at a time. This capability turned out to be crucial for AI, where tons of data have to be processed quickly. With CUDA, NVIDIA's GPUs became some of the best tools for AI development, as they were perfect for handling complex calculations at high speeds. For years though, Wall Street didn't get it. They didn't see why NVIDIA was investing in something as niche as CUDA, but NVIDIA held onto their vision, and by around 2016, people started to realize CUDA's potential in AI. NVIDIA's strategy started paying off big, especially as AI applications exploded in areas like self-driving cars, robotics, and language models. AI isn't just a trend for NVIDIA. It's a generational opportunity that keeps getting bigger. According to Bank of America, the market for AI technology is set to explode from $45 billion in 2024 to $363 billion by the end of the decade. NVIDIA, already holding about 75% of this market, could be raking in massive revenues by then. And it's not just a big market. NVIDIA practically owns it. They supply the GPUs that companies like Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI rely on to train their language models and handle complex tasks in data centers. This growing demand for AI, driven by innovations like generative AI, positions NVIDIA right at the center. As more industries adopt AI, from healthcare to finance to entertainment, NVIDIA's role as a leader becomes even more crucial. Their chips power everything from image recognition to predictive models, keeping them ahead in a space that's expected to keep growing.
NVIDIA's lead in the AI race isn't just about timing, it's about having the best tools for the job. With their powerful GPUs, NVIDIA has become the backbone of AI, powering everything from data centers to groundbreaking research in language models. Their secret weapon? They've built a tech ecosystem that works together perfectly. NVIDIA doesn't just sell GPUs, they offer software, hardware, and even full-blown systems ready for AI. This full-package approach makes it hard for competitors to keep up. Take their DGX systems, for example, which are high-powered machines made just for AI tasks. NVIDIA Accelerated Computing starts with DGX, the world's AI supercomputer. These systems give companies like Tesla, Google, and Microsoft the computing muscle they need to train advanced AI models. Plus, NVIDIA's partnerships with top cloud providers mean that everywhere AI is being developed. And as the world gets more excited about AI's potential, NVIDIA's role becomes even more essential. NVIDIA's financial growth is a story in itself. Just this year, their stock jumped by 180%, which is impressive on its own. But when you zoom out, their performance over the past decade is even more eye-popping. The stock has skyrocketed over 3,100%. This kind of growth is rare, and it shows how well NVIDIA has positioned itself in the tech industry, especially as AI took off. The company's revenue from data centers, where all that AI computing happens, saw massive growth, accounting for nearly two-thirds of NVIDIA's total revenue. In fact, they reported $10.32 billion in revenue from data centers alone, which was a 171% jump compared to the previous year. This revenue boost isn't a one-off either. It's been building as more companies turn to AI solutions and need NVIDIA's chips to get things done. Investors love this growth, seeing NVIDIA as a key player in the future of AI. The company's financial success reflects its dominance and its stronghold on the market, making that ambitious $5 trillion valuation by 2025 seem not so far-fetched. NVIDIA's road to growth isn't without its bumps, especially when it comes to dealing with China and regulatory issues. NVIDIA relies heavily on Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSNC, to produce its high-powered chips, and TSNC is based in Taiwan, a region caught in tension between the US and China. Any disruption could impact NVIDIA's supply chain, creating major issues for production. Then, there's the US government's restrictions on advanced chip exports to China, aimed at keeping AI technology out of the hands of US rivals. For NVIDIA, this means lost revenue from one of its biggest markets. To manage these risks, NVIDIA has started expanding to manufacturing facilities in Arizona, aiming to reduce dependency on TSMC and strengthen its resilience against geopolitical issues. If NVIDIA wants to hit $5 trillion, balancing these risks and adapting its supply chain will be essential. NVIDIA's journey hasn't been without bumps. A major example is its attempt to buy ARM Holdings for $40 billion, a move that could have expanded NVIDIA's tech influence even more. Straight on to business news now for you on the program. This is about a major deal today in the microchip business, which has uh, fallen apart. And our business editor, Stephen Carroll, is here on set for uh, more details for us, Stephen. Stuart, it was the largest ever deal in this industry, but the American firm NVIDIA says now it won't be buying Britain's ARM Holdings. The $40 billion deal being scrapped due to pressure from regulators in the UK, EU and the United States. Yeah, this is this is a big deal. This I am so excited about this, Jim. Uh, y you you know that that Arm is an extraordinary company. This is this is the company that built the world's most popular CPU. However, regulators blocked the acquisition, fearing it would reduce competition. Still, Nvidia has thrived thanks to smart partnerships and ambitious moves into new industries. One of Nvidia's biggest strengths is its partnerships with top tech companies. They've joined forces with Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, integrating their GPUs into the biggest cloud platforms. 
This opens NVIDIA's tech to businesses around the world, making it easy for companies, large or small, to harness AI. And NVIDIA isn't stopping there. They've teamed up with car manufacturers to develop AI for self-driving and with healthcare providers to advance medical imaging. By expanding beyond traditional tech into automotive and healthcare, NVIDIA is setting itself up for long-term growth and potentially reaching that $5 trillion valuation. When we look at the competition, NVIDIA holds a strong lead. Companies like AMD, Intel, and Qualcomm compete, but NVIDIA's revenue and reach set it apart. In 2023, NVIDIA's revenue hit a staggering $26.91 billion, solidifying its position in AI, gaming, and automotive sectors. Unlike many competitors, NVIDIA is also pushing its manufacturing outside the US, making its supply chain more resilient against potential global issues. Moves like acquiring Mellanox have further boosted its data center presence, giving NVIDIA an edge in AI and computing. And when the AI trend hit the market in first quarter of 2023, NVIDIA estimated that they'll hit a hopping $11 billion in sales for the next T2. But the revenue went above and beyond their estimation towards $13 billion. This was followed by an impressive $16 billion revenue in the third quarter, which was 206% above the same period last year. Finally, they hit $18 billion in the key four. NVIDIA had a really profitable year in 2023, and they are expecting $20 billion in revenue for the fiscal fourth quarter. That implies nearly 231% revenue growth. And then there's Tesla, another major player in AI. Tesla has long used NVIDIA's high-performance chips for its self-driving tech, though it's now working on its own AI chips. Both companies are leaders in AI, with Tesla focusing on autonomous driving and NVIDIA providing core computing power. Industry experts even hint at a potential future partnership given their shared interests, though nothing's official yet. With these key partnerships, powerful revenue, and the foresight to grow across industries, NVIDIA is building a strong foundation to stay ahead in the competitive AI race. It's this combined strategy that puts NVIDIA on a steady path toward massive growth. So, can NVIDIA realistically reach that massive $5 trillion valuation by 2025? Let's break it down. On the plus side, NVIDIA is in the perfect spot to benefit from the AI boom. Demand for AI hardware is only growing, and NVIDIA has established itself as the go-to brand. With generative AI getting more attention, their GPUs are the main choice for training large models which means a steady income stream from data centers and cloud providers. Partnerships across various industries also boost NVIDIA's presence, increasing their potential for growth. However, there are challenges. The AI market is competitive, and rivals like AMD and Intel are stepping up their game. Plus, global tensions, especially between the US and China, could impact NVIDIA's international business. Export restrictions on their chips could hit revenue, as China is a huge market. And of course, a $5 trillion valuation is incredibly high, so any hiccup in their growth or unexpected market shifts could make this target harder to reach. In short, while NVIDIA's future is bright, hitting $5 trillion will require everything to go just right. So, is NVIDIA on its way to reaching that mind-blowing $5 trillion mark by 2025, with all the cards on the table, their domination in AI, high demand for GPUs, and soaring profits, it seems possible. But with risks in supply chains, competition, and geopolitical issues, there are still challenges they'll have to face. If NVIDIA can keep its competitive edge, strengthen its partnerships, and manage global tensions, this dream could turn into reality. NVIDIA reaching $5 trillion? It's a bold goal, but if any company can do it, NVIDIA's one to watch. If you enjoyed exploring NVIDIA's journey and want to stay updated on where tech is heading next, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Stay tuned for more insights into the tech world. You won't want to miss what's coming next.